Hi folks, welcome back to Black Bears Details YouTube channel. Uh, this is another uh, episode following the project uh, Lexus SC430. What we're going to do is I'm going to replace the uh, subwoofer. Uh, it's an 8 inch subwoofer and it is blown. For those who have watched the 6x9 replacement one, you'll be anticipating my awesome impression of what the subwoofer sounds like and it sounds like bruh, 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 basically. So, we're going to whip that one out and we're going to replace it with another 8 inch subwoofer. I've elected to go for a rather nice uh, Alpine uh, subwoofer. Uh, it's much higher rated than the, the speaker which is currently in it. It draw a bit more current from the amplifier, so the temperatures of the inside of the amp might increase a little, especially when it's paired with the operated 6x9s in the front. Fully anticipate at some point that amplifier will go pop. Uh, it won't go pop, but what it will do is the, the internal uh, heat sensors will shut the amplifier down. So when that starts happening on a, not even a regular basis, probably the first time that happens, that's then the alarm bells ringing that it's drawn too much and this needs changed, i.e. the amplifier, but that's going to be in a completely separate vlog and at that point I'll probably just replace the full speaker system with something uh, all matching basically. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just basically pull up uh, the rear bench seats so that comes out relatively easy so just pull straight up and straight up on that side and out it comes. It's actually quite good as well because you get to see if there's any kind of damp patches and stuff like that and it's absolutely bone dry so we know there's no water ingress coming in. Okay, the next thing is the the covers basically on the back of the, the rear headdress. So just grab it from the side the, where the plexiglass is, uh, you'll be able to get it in there and then just give it a wee pull out. Uh, if you can't give it a wee pull out then you can use trim removal tools but as you've just seen it comes out relatively easy. So we will pull that out. That gives us access into the rear section, there's two bolts uh, run along there which we need to take off which will take off this uh, full plastic cowling at the back. There's also a couple of bolts in uh, there which will take off as well and this full section comes off nice and easy and exposes that subwoofer which sits around about there. So what I'll do is I'll pull the camera around, point the camera at the back so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so here is the rear view. So we've got these two uh, bolts in there and there's two on the other side. Uh, these can either be removed with a 10mm uh, socket or there is a uh, kind of Torx section in there. But I'm going to see if I can remove it with my little trusty uh, Bosch pack. Yep, there we go. If you're using a drill, be very careful with this spinning section against that, you don't want to have it flush down, so angle it just up a wee tick to make sure that that's not going to rub there, because it will leave you a nice mark. Make sure you don't lose your uh, bolts, and I'll just take off the ones on the other side very quickly. Okay, so that is the section there away and then this should just pull back and expose a bar behind this. I should uh, let you know as well I haven't done this before I've got the workshop manual been sent to me so yeah so here's the bar it's these two bolts in there which secure the top sections of this seat and again with that stick it on the front seat and pop it kind of top section up so any of these uh, wee bits don't catch on and damage your uh, leather seats on the front. So now that one's off and those look like 10mm 
uh, bolts as well, which might just be, there we go. So again, take them off and down that pops. Again, that just goes off like that and I'll do the other side as well, just while we're here. Okay, so uh, round the other side now of the car, I'm just leaving that, looks like loads of little raindrops there, but it's completely dry in and uh, it actually looks like kind of marks left from painting, weird. Uh, anyway, we've got bolt here, which is a 12mm, another 12mm there, and pretty much like straight down from there, there's another Basically, so we're looking for four bolts. I'm unsure if this will take it off again just because these look a bit heftier. Make sure it won't. So I do have the trusty uh, half inch driver. So I'll just loosen them and then. The gun should get the uh, the rest of them. You might need an extension bar for the bottom one. In fact, that one's that one's literally like finger tight. So again, you can pop them down in your in your footwell, and then. So that's the two bottom ones completely off. So we'll get those top ones removed. And at that point, these should just fall off like that. Lovely. Now you've got your seat belt here, but just pull it around to the side like the so, and the same from the other side, and that will give you the play to get this section removed. And once that is removed, stick it somewhere safely out the way so you don't damage your leather. And you have access to the 8 inch subwoofer. Now, I'm having a wee look at it there, and through the, uh, so I'm just moving these out the way. Through the, oh, the grill, uh, doesn't actually look as if it's perforated, kind of too bad, the, the, the speakers at the front. For those of you who've watched, uh, watched that vlog, they were noticeably bad, like they were uh, like falling to bits. So it's a 10mm uh, bolt in each of them. So again, I'll grab a 10mm socket and I'll take that off and we'll have a wee look at it. And once we've got it off, I'll go over to my, my workbench and We'll have a wee look at the new speaker versus the old speaker and see what needs to get done. Okay, so that's them off, and yeah, it's literally just slipped out nicely, and there we go. So that's the uh, the original sub. Yeah, there we go. It's a uh, it's it's just not attached at all. The actual foam. I don't know if you can see that. What I'll do is we'll go around to the front, and I will uh, set up the camera at the workbench. Okay, so here are the two uh, speakers, basically side by side, obviously old speaker and new speaker. Uh, the 
Again, um, apologies for the, the obviously the angle in this isn't great. You can't see me, all you're seeing is my hands and the speakers. Uh, but unfortunately that, that can't be helped just with the setup of how I'm doing stuff. So yeah, this is the uh, the original speaker. And as you can see, that's just the foam is completely detached from the 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 actual structure of the speaker itself, which it's a shame because the, the the physical speaker looks nice and like there's no cracks, nothing like that. So uh, I might just pop a wee thing up in the the forums and see if MD actually wants this speaker because I'm fairly sure if you get a a, a, a repair kit for the foam, uh, that could be uh, that could be salvaged and might help somebody who's looking to keep their, their sound system completely standard. So we've got four uh, torques. Uh, screws here basically they're, they're T20 size so we will take these off ok now we're in the last one you can see there's a bit of a depth difference here between the two of them but there's plenty of space for that new subwoofer ok so that's the front grill being removed so pull that one up and it should give us access. Here we go. So, here we go. You can see that's just not attached to yeah, the foams, just basically came away from it altogether. So, I'm guessing this is going to be very similar to the, uh, the other speakers, and that there'll be uh, mountain points maybe in there or this might just need forced forward to get that original speaker clear and out of there or it might just need a bit of pushing yeah so a bit of shoving will get that free and clear so this is your mountain bracket so you're going to like keep hold of that and this is the uh, the original speaker which you can see was causing the uh, whoop 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 sound and not the good whoop 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 that you get from a nice basic car from the outside so the speaker connectors here i'm gonna i'm gonna salvage this i'm gonna remove uh, this all together from that i'm gonna mount that and i'm gonna have this attached onto that so i can still use the original connector because it's nice and firm, it works well and uh, yeah, I'll keep that so I'll snip them as close to them as possible. Again, this could absolutely be salvaged but uh, I'm probably going to be going for an Alpine system when the thing or when the time comes to replace so I just thought uh, that I would go for a, uh, yeah, I would just go for the the, the big kind of sub I'm going to be getting anyway and then that's the uh, the job done apologies I'm just looking for my snips they've been put away in the wrong drawer so I'm going to snip just basically behind uh, these sections uh, where they, they join on I've got shaky hands I've had about five cups of coffee today as you've seen earlier on I've got a, a wee Mazda MX-5 in for a a full paint correction, ceramic coating, so I've been busy. I'm doing this basically in between coatings. I've got a three hour period I need to wait, or a minimum of three hours I need to wait before I can uh, put a top coat on. So basically I'm potting about with my own car, I've done all my paperwork etc. So yeah, so the, to get this out you just need to push that in. There's a wee pin you can see in there, so if you push that in and this grey original connector should slide out and there we go so I can salvage that and use that with a new one so yeah if, uh, if MD's uh, watching this from the, the the forums I'll stick that up available and somebody can uh, somebody can hopefully put that to good use so here we have the new subwoofer so there's a protective grill around that uh, or cover 
uh, which is for the, the speaker holes. So I'm going to have a wee look and see if they actually match up to the originals. And if they do, we uh, we could be getting away with some uh, having to apply this again because they might just go straight through nicely and then yeah and then we can get the, that basically on and secured so we need to find where the, these match up and it might just be a case of then to drill some holes in this to get this through and uh, and bolted in place. So, <coughs> excuse me. There is a wee directional arrow uh, on the the underside. In fact, it might have been the actual speaker itself. Uh, so we can see which which direction is best to best to mount this. Uh, want this as close to the the connector as possible given the fact we don't have a great deal of flex on it so I'll go over I'll check on the car I'll check which is the best section uh, or way to mount this I'm probably thinking it's going to be the terminals facing the uh, driver's side if memory serves me right and I'll double check where this mounts on and we'll get this doctored up and get these uh, holes drilled a wee bit of uh, <coughs> sealant in it to hold it in place and I shall rivet this down so it ain't going to go anywhere. Okay so I've checked uh, where it's to go so the the wide to basically the, the wide uh, section of the bracket is facing the, the top of the car so basically it'll, it'll go in like that. Uh, the sub fits in there absolutely perfect really snug there's like very little movement in it at all so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark where each of these holes are I'm going to drill down really kind of nice and clean uh, rivet these together so it's it's not going to go anywhere and as you can see from the, the other side on the original uh, the, the original bracket there is a little channel already there so this cable fits through there absolutely perfect and there's plenty flex once I've stripped that to get that onto those uh, terminals and that's going to be rock solid so so far everything is going to plan I just said that normally when you say that disasters happen but uh, yeah so I'm going to mark out each of these get drilled nicely nice and clean so everything's all kind of going to get held together absolutely rock solid and uh, yeah I shall see you again in a little minute so as you can see I'm just putting the dots where this lines up uh, we would rather get as many of these locked in place as possible because of course subwoofers are going to make a lot of vibrations throughout the course of their life and we would rather everything was locked in. As much as I'm certainly not an expert in car audio in my uh, late teens, early twenties, had several cars that had insane uh, sound systems put in them so I've done that kind of stuff many a time but please if uh, you've got any doubt whatsoever and either your abilities to do this uh, properly, then just uh, just call an expert and have them do it. Uh, it saves messing up an expensive bit of equipment. So as you can see, I've got these uh, basically uh, plotted out. So I'm going to drill little pilot holes through uh, with the drill, and uh, yeah, I shall see you again in a little bit. Okay, so I had to get uh, I've obviously quite a long sized rivet section through, so I've had to widen the hole uh, at the bottom there just a wee bit more.
but that's fine. You can always make a hole bigger, but you can't make it smaller. So uh, always, it only takes an extra couple of minutes just to take the stuff back apart again and drill the holes a tiny bit wider. So I'm looking to get all these rivets through the holes. If you have a wee look there, so try and focus in on this bit and you'll see this bottom bit pulling up. So that's it pulled up and then that just grips and there we go and you can see that kind of pulling that right together really tight so instead of going all the way around I'm going to go opposite now so it doesn't end up all up to one side kind of like talking up alloy wheels you don't want to do it in a kind of all the way around So that's that on and riveted. You can see it on the underside of it. All those rivets are all in place. So they're locking that section of this subwoofer onto that bracket. And that is absolutely solid. That ain't going anywhere. Ugh, that vibration you're hearing is just that. So yeah, that is a one successfully mounted sub onto the bracket. So next we've got speakers. Again, these are pretty self-explanatory. One is red, other's black. So there we go. So usually when you hang this up there's a wee hole through. And the same with that one. So take your speaker cable, feed it through the hole and we're wrapping or we're turning it that way so you want to wrap around that way so grab that and then I'm going to use my wee Tipex sticky thing just to help grab it for those who don't know I've got zero feeling and sections in my left hand have got nerve, nerve damage so it can be quite tricky trying to kind of hold and push things when they're not in my line of sight so we look to wrap that round to make sure it's snug in place because what we don't want is for any of these wires to be touching those ones and again just screw that down so it's nice and tight and then basically just finger tight and then give that a right good pull and that ain't going anywhere and then do that with the same for the red one it'll be a bit easier because it pops out the other side and then wrap round to the right because that's the way the screw turns and then wrap that round And then that is rock solid, that ain't going anywhere. And there's still a little bit of play there to give us some wiggle room there. Not that we need it because there's plenty space around the other side. Okay, so the kind of offer the speaker up to the, the hole it's going to live in. And it's a, it's a bit too deep, it's catching. So there was two uh, plastic connectors which are mounted on this hole. So I've removed those connectors, moved them to the side and I've zip tied them up out the way. So there, you can see where the speaker has been catching. So this section here, we're gonna to need to bring this down. It's a, uh, it's, it's not ideal, but it's gonna to need to be the uh, block of wood against it and a hammer to create a wee, just a wee kind of 
divot down into it. Uh, I've, yeah, it's uh, it's not ideal, but the other alternative is uh, getting a shallower sub. I've already mounted this, so it won't be getting returned. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the the only other option we have. So I'm um, a uh, yeah, a rubber mallet and uh, a bit of wood, and just compact that down. It's it's needing, it's literally just needing in by a, a centimetre to get that, that clearance in. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, so that is a, that done. Oh, it seems horrible hitting your car with a hammer. But it just needed that wee, it was literally just a wee, a wee centimetre in. And then uh, that's it lined up perfectly. So, yeah, put everything back together and uh, we'll plug the, the sub in and I'll make sure it's, uh, it's working. There's no annoying bumps, rattles, anything like that. And then uh, we can get the, the interior back together again. I uh, also checked the apologies again. I know my, my back's to the camera, it doesn't make for very interesting viewing. But apologies. Uh, I've also checked the back of the seats as well, and they kind of a, a hollow, not so much hollow, but there's, there's a gap between where the subwoofer uh, and uh, the foam is. So we should be good for, uh, for that basically. Uh, and of course there's nobody is going to be sitting in the middle of this. Uh, because there's basically no room and no seat belt etc. So have that and plug this back in. And I shall turn the car on. Make sure the sub works. Uh, might get YouTube. A copyright band if I turn on and it detects the music, which is really annoying. Uh, so I'll, uh, yeah, I'll literally just put the music on and, and double check it's working. Uh, if it's not, I shall basically let you know, uh, and I'll try and diagnose and fault find. But it's a speaker. It's two cables going in and out. The most difficult part of it was just the, the installation of the, the new one there, uh, having to kind of knock that section in. It was literally like four kind of half half strikes with a hammer just to make that wee, just a wee indent to, to clear the, the bottom section of that, uh, that speaker. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this, uh, please, please, please remember to hit subscribe uh, and like the video as well. Uh, it does help, especially when you're just kind of kind of properly getting into doing a lot of the YouTube video stuff and I'm wanting to branch out into other things with YouTube. So it 100% does help. So please click subscribe and help and leave a wee comment. Uh, if there's any questions, let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe.